So today I'm gonna to take you on a tour of one of my favorite places, the little town of Paulsville. So let's get started. What's up everybody? I'm Ladina Strand, your favorite Kitsap County, Washington realtor. If this is your first time to my channel and you wanna know everything about Kitsap County, I do tons and tons of videos, everything you need to know. So you wanna make sure that you tap that subscribe button and you click that little bell so you're notified every time I do a new video. I get lots and lots of phone calls, emails, texts every single day of people looking to relocate here and I absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about moving or relocating, make sure you reach out to me. You can give me a call, you can shoot me a text, you can send me an email, however you wanna get a hold of me. I definitely have your back when moving or relocating to Western Washington. So today we're in the little town of Paulsbo, Washington here, and Paulsbo has uh, maintained its Scandinavian theme to honor its early immigrants. And the early immigrants were attracted to um, the landscape because it reminded them of their native home. Um, there is tons of colorful artwork, um, historic painted buildings, and miles and miles of waterfront. Um, it's, a, it's been steeped in about 150 years of Scandinavian influence here in Paulsbo. So as you can see up here, we've got the um, waterfront park here with the, uh, the pavilion, which is in the Muriel Iverson Waterfront Park. Um, it's just, yeah, it's, this is a lot of fun. We've really enjoyed, um, you know, living in Paulsbo. Paulsbo is um, a boater's paradise, as you can see. Uh, we've got three marinas here in Paulsbo. You've got the picturesque uh, downtown marina over here. We, my husband's actually from Norway. Uh, we have a boat, we love boating. Uh, we just love coming down to the waterfront here. Paul's boat is actually located on Liberty Bay. Um, it's actually the, the smallest city out of the four cities within Kitsap County. And the other cool fun part is you, there are kayak rentals, um, which you can do, which are a lot of fun, which actually get you right out onto Liberty Bay here. Um, it's, just, it's just beautiful. Very, very, uh, Feel very fortunate to call this area here in Kitsap County home. So Paulsbo is also kind of commonly known as Little Norway because of the charming Scandinavian um, themed downtown um, on Front Street here. We have, and I'll, I'll walk by here for you guys, I just wanted to kind of showcase um, just the charm of this, this town here. So they have my favorite bakery, the world famous Slice Bakery, um, and I'll show that to you guys here. And then also, um, right across, directly across the street from the bakery is my favorite, favorite coffee shop, Hot Shots Java. Um, absolutely the best. Um, um, on the weekends, literally people, like, it's a line out the door here <laughs> to get your, to get your uh, donut, or what my family commonly calls the sugar pill. <laughs> Um, so there's just all kinds of um, museums, there's, um, there's pubs and breweries um, in Paulsbo, they're awesome. Um, there's a lot of artwork, antiques, if that's your thing. Just a lot of charm here in this town. Right over my shoulder here is um, Marina Market, which has foods from all over the country. Um, my husband and I, we go shopping there a lot for the Norwegian food. but. Little uh, fun fact, they have over 500 different kinds of licorice um, and 15 different kinds of licorice beer. So it's just a really, really cool store. All right, so wanted to uh, just get in the car here and do a little um, driving tour for you guys. Just get a little bit different uh, point of view of the downtown area here. And then we're gonna take a drive up and show you guys one of the parks. Um, Paulsbo has many, many parks throughout the area. So as you can see, we've got the charming downtown, the Scandinavian theme stores. It's a really, really, really cute, cute town. My favorite coffee shop, Hot Shots Java over there on the right. Got the got a wine bar. I got up here on the right. We've got a um, a really cool brewery called the Slippery Pig. It's awesome. And there's the marina. It's just beautiful. The sun is finally coming out today. 
We've been having a lot of clouds, a little bit of rain, so it's nice to see the sun. We're gonna go ahead and head up here along the water, on the waterfront here. So the houses themselves, you see a little bit of older, older homes here, kind of have that old, that old charm. It's just a great area. We're coming up on the Liberty Bay Marina. So I mentioned earlier, we've got three different marinas in the area here. And people rent kayaks and they go kayaking all over out throughout Liberty Bay here. It's, it's, it's pretty fun. We've got the Paul's Bow Yacht Club coming up here on the right. We have Lions Park. And when my son was younger, we spent a lot of time at Lions Park and um, the Paul's Bow Fish Park, which has um, some great, great walking trails. So this is a really popular park to bring the kiddos. So this part of Paul's Bow is just more like the of the established part. Um, homes are a little older. Um, here later on, we'll take you guys up by the schools and show you guys um, some of the new construction that's going on in Paul's Bow. Paul's Bow is definitely growing. So at the time of the recording of this video, the median house price for Paul's Bow right now is sitting at um, 635,000. And um, you can definitely find, if you want a home that has acreage, we can, you can definitely find that here in Paul's Bow as well. So I'm going to take you guys, just kind of drive you through what I kind of consider like the, the newer part. It's like Old Town Paul's Bow, which we were just in. And then you have the newer part up above that has my favorite, um, my favorite supermarket, which is Central Market, which is now called Town & Country. They have like literally every kind of food. They have an amazing deli. I could literally spend hours, hours in that store. It's, it's amazing. The main amenities, are our main hub for Kitsap County is going to be Silverdale, which is where all of the major shopping is, the mall. Um, you're about about a 10 to 15 minute drive um, to Silverdale, so not too far. And Paul's Bow is a great location. You're a short 30 minute ferry ride over to Seattle, so it's really a great location. Um, a lot of people who you know work in Seattle, who don't want to live in Seattle, um, live in Paul's Bow, Bainbridge Island. It's just a short ferry ride. So up on the left here, as we're coming up the road, we've got the um, North Kitsap High School. Go Vikings! <laughs> on the right-hand side, we have the North Kitsap Middle School, um, which actually was built fairly recently. So a definitely newer school. Now I'm going to take you guys up and show you some of the more of the single-family um, homes, new construction, uh, which is actually really, really close to the schools. And over to the right there, we've got the Paulsbo Elementary School, and so up ahead here is um, all newer homes built in the last, um, last three to five years. So these homes here start in the sevens. Of course, obviously go on up depending on, um, you know, what trim, what you want in your home. I'm gonna show you um, some other new construction by JK Monarch. And the homes up here, I think they're just a little bit more modern looking on, on the exterior. And they actually start in the eights, 800,000. And of course, all of these uh, new construction homes, of course, keep in mind, will definitely be on, on smaller lots. But great location, very close to town, close to the schools. These are the homes here by JK Monarch. Um, I think that's have a little bit more modern um, exterior to them. Very nice homes. Got the, some of them have their three car garage option. 
Um, many of these homes are actually five bedroom. And then we'll go back down through Tripoint. So we have the common area playground up on the left here. These homes here, typically um, four to five bedroom, uh, three car garage, averaging about 2,700 square feet. So they're good sized homes. This is Deer Run. This is more of a um, established neighborhood in Palsbo. Again, close to the schools, great location. Homes in here are um, selling in the mid fives. So now we're coming down into um, another new community. Um, this is being built by uh, Crystal View. And many of these homes have the primary bedroom on the main floor, uh, which a lot of buyers are looking for. Um, these homes here start in the mid sevens. And some of many of them actually have some pretty cool views. So this cream colored house here is for sale, um, listed at $749, it's available. So we're going to, coming up on Paul's Bow Place up here and um, these homes here, super charming. They are kind of like a bungalow style, um, they're definitely on the smaller side but great location. They're literally within walking distance um, into Old Town Paulsbo. They range anywhere from about 860 square feet. Um, some of them are up to 1200 and some odd square feet, but some of them are also only two bedroom. But if you wanna have a great location at close to town, these places here are awesome. Um, they don't come on the market very often. They're very popular. Um, if they do, they're selling right now in about the mid fives. So it's just kind of a fun area here. I love representing relocation buyers. It's what I specialize in. I've helped dozens and dozens of families from all over the world relocate to our beautiful area. And so if you're thinking about relocating to the Paulsbo area or any area in Western Washington, then you gotta give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, days, nights, weekends, I've got your back when moving to the Western Washington area. Until the next video, I'll catch you later.